good afternoon to each and everyone, dear parents and teachers. Me with my fellow graduates stand before your eyes as a product of our own hard work and determination in the field of academic, and most importantly as a result of your numerous sacrifices done to ensure that we are on the right track in reaching our full potential. We honor and acknowledge your presence here. Dear parents and teachers, we extend our deepest gratitude and humbleness to you. We are forever grateful. Thank you. In this manner, I want to commend my parents, my mom and daddies, for being such a great person. She sacrificed her career in the field of medicine to ensure that her children will reach their dream career with full potential and values. My Papa Albert for ensuring the security of our future by providing necessary resources that is vital in achieving our short-term and long-term goals. I love you, Mom and Dad. Thank you. Moreover, I would also like to commend my two siblings, my Kuya Jed for being such a great influence and role model to me. You showed me that nothing is impossible as long as you are determined to be what you want to be. My little Anna for providing me comfort and support in every little thing I do. You make Kuya glad every time you smile. Most importantly, I want to appreciate my girlfriend, girlfriend here at Olivia. She's the one of the reasons I am here today. She will live in me every time I deprive myself of hands to improve and develop. I love you and thank you. I also want to commend my queer uh, Johnny as she is the one of the people who supported me and believed in me when I could not be a person of confidence. Also, I want to commend Good Voice for, sing for being such a great and beautiful. I also want to give thanks to the people who saved my life when I got into an accident. You may not be so brilliant and smart, but you have a good heart and that is all that matters. Furthermore, I want to give thanks to the teachers of KCKL who supported me all the way. You deserve to be a hero that every individual should look up at. I am here today because I appreciated the beauty of diversity. The beauty of diversity offers us greater and infinite possibilities in different areas of our lives. It allows us to see our strengths and weaknesses that we may find ourselves soon and able to accomplish greater things. Diversity offers us, offers us unity. Without diversity or having different things or people around us, we'll find ourselves lost and alone. We'll always have pre-existing things over and over again. As a result, we will be offering ourselves no area for improvement and development in our lives. Diversity and unity are two inter interconnected concepts. It is a widely accepted and applied concept that is observed in different areas and fields, more, more importantly in the field of education. As for Herbert Howard Gardner, a developmental psychologist famous for his theory of multiple intelligence, it is not uh, it is not how smart you are that matters. What really counts is how you are smart. In the same manner, the measure of real intelligence the measure of real intelligence is not bounded in a single field or area, but is but is measured uniquely in different fields as well as in different mind and ability concerns. Moreover, different individuals is observed to have different abilities. And by that, what a good and quality education like the K-12 program does is that it develops these abilities uniquely so that the diversity between the minds of different individuals can be unified into one great purpose of accomplishing something for the greater good of humanity. Lastly, the best thing that we can do is celebrate our diversity. Let us love and embrace our differences that we may be united with the one true noble purpose of our lives, exhibiting compassion and empathy. Lastly, diversity is not how much we differ. It is how we are connected to our difference that we might attain something noble and worthy to make. Uh, once again, congratulations and thank you.